So hey guys, this is my second KRV or knife review video. Last time I showed you this duck. It is un unnamed, but the brand name is Duck. They do make other knives, but this one just doesn't happen to have a model name. That's the box it comes in, and this is the knife. So it it's it's okay. The uh, the steel hasn't held up as much as I would want it to. The tip has dulled quite a bit. Uh, the sharpness isn't what I want it to be. It's not very sharp, even after I sharpen it. And it doesn't hold the sharpness after I sharpen it for very long. The, uh, the action is very loose. It'll wiggle a lot if you don't have it tightened, which you have, you have to tighten it basically every time you use it extensively. And to, uh, to tighten it, you have to undo this screw right here. And then there's a screw right there in the middle, you can see. And you can tighten it there. Uh, the pocket clip's pretty good. These little panels here, they wiggle if you don't have them tight. Uh, it just takes, it's two different Allen screws. One for these little ones. Actually, no, it's three. It's one there, one there, and then one there. So, it takes quite a bit of tools to maintain this knife. Uh, it's... It's, I, I like it, but it just hasn't held up well. This is my new knife. This is the Frost Cutlery Scorpion, and it's pretty cool. It has wood grips, which are, I, I like them. They, they feel pretty good. You can tighten it here. This one I like. It has one iron Allen wrench screw. Uh, this was the pocket clip right here, these three holes, but I took that off because this isn't much... I, I wouldn't carry this one as much because it's a, it's a little bit harder to open, I'm going to say. There's this little, uh, you can put your thumb here, and it, it does a pretty good job with the traction. And you can flick it out. And this is the little, this thing, the uh, to undo the blade, it is a lot of work to get this sometimes. Sometimes it gets stuck, and I just don't like when it does that. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm probably going to go in with like uh, with a tool and make that easier to go. But it's a pretty thick steel, if you can see that. Here, I'll compare the two knives with the thickness of the blade. Right here, the base is really thick, but when you get up here, it's super thin. And I, I don't really like that as much, because right here you hit this point where it it loosens up. That's how it's supposed to open. So the blade is pretty sharp. I have not sharpened this knife yet. The tip is definitely much sharper than this one. And I I haven't even stabbed much with this, anything hard. This one I found a a skull of some animal in my front yard and I and I uh, stabbed it with this and picked it up and looked at it and this it kept its hardness pretty well and a skull is pretty hard you know I'm talking about the spongy part on the inside if you know anything about skeletons what you know about skeletons bitch uh, it's frost cutlery they they are pretty well respected in the knife name uh, this is for like a lanyard right here uh, it also works when you do when you uh, hold it back it works as a thumb ramp and I like that works pretty well if I was going to use this for combat, I would probably hold it this way. This is, I'm, I am holding this left-handed. I got the camera in the one hand. I'm going to switch right now and show you. Sorry. So this here is also a thumb ramp for if you hold it this way. This would work pretty well, too. But I just like it like this more. It just feels more natural with this knife. With the other knife, I'd rather hold it like this. But this is, I don't know, it kind of annoys me. I do like having the thumb ramp, but I don't know if it's worth having that thickness of it. Because you're not really getting much more blade. But I am pretty content with the sharpness on this one. I, I haven't even sharpened it, and it holds up much nicer than this one after repeated sharpening. The wood grips do come off. I've taken them off and put them back on. I like, like it with them on. It is a lot lighter with them off, but I do like I get much more traction with it on. Just look at how thick that blade is. And it tapers off right to the tip, which is very nice and fine.
and I like that. So, this is I like that that little point there where it it uh, connects that all together. I like that. It looks cool. But it's it's held up pretty fine. The only problem with this knife so far is that this locks way too hard. No homo. And it's really hard to close it at certain times. Other times it's fine, but times like this, it's jammed up and I have to do certain stuff to fix it. So I'm going to go in and fix that with tools and make it easier to close and pro probably to open. I might do something with this, but I don't think so. I think I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, it's pretty nice knife. I like the way it feels and looks for the most part. And yeah, the the next knife I'm going to review is a Eiffel Tower knife. It's a disguise knife that it stands up and it's like a display thing, like a statue or something. It looks like the Eiffel Tower, but you can pull out the uh, the tower and it's a knife in a sheath and it looks really awesome. I'll show you that later. But yes, so that's this knife. Uh, for $6, I bought it in a two-pack, which was 12 and uh, the other one hasn't been used as much, and it's it's held up pretty well. Like, it hasn't been used almost at all. But this one, I've used it a lot, and it didn't hold up at all. So, for $6, I, I don't know if you'd rather pay an extra, what is it, a, a, a nice spring-assisted knife? You could get for, like, 10 15 bucks, And I'd rather pay that for a well-quality one. The steel on this isn't the highest grade that you would want. This is a definitely nicer steel. It's uh, they did something in the process of this of uh, the metal that they made it. It just looks really nice. They did a uh, finish on it, but it's pretty cool. If you can see the the wood grain pattern, it looks nice too. So yeah, I'll show you those. My uh, the Eiffel Tower knife will be coming next, and I'll show you some. Uh, some suggestions for the knives that I would like to buy. I don't know how much, how many of them I can get, or when the next one after this Eiffel Tower will come. But yeah, so yeah, subscribe, like, comment, favorite, all that stuff. It'd be nice. Uh, I'm just starting up this knife review thing. Uh, tell me if you'd like to see a guitar video, or a knife video, or a vlog, or a video game thing. I'm going to do a Black Ops 2 complete analysis, not just the trailer and all that. I'll probably put the trailer in there, and the perk list, and all the attachments, and I'll basically tell you all that I know, which is more than everybody on your subscription box, I guess, because I've seen many, many trailer analyses and all this. I spelled it anal or I pronounced it analysis is I don't give a shit. Suck a dick. But okay, so I'll show you that later. Have a nice day.